Dottie DeMoulis has done for the city of New Bedford by bringing a market basket in. We've been able to now have underprivileged people that were just basically eating Doritos and food like that, processed, eating fruit and vegetables because of the prices. And the revenue it's brought into New Bedford, probably a million dollars a year, plus all of the employees where we have such a high unemployment rate in New Bedford, 10%. Um, it's just been amazing. It's been the best thing that's happened to New Bedford, and we just don't want to see anything happen to Artie. That's it. You can always find new jobs. I'll go work at a gas station if I ask you. I'm not going to work for somebody that's, uh, that's closing my company now. People are not here doing this just because they want to buck the system. They're doing it because they want to be part of my basket. They want to be part of this company. And here we are, smoking in the girls' room on WEMFradio.com. I'm Carmelita. We are back on the topic of Market Basket and what has been going on, not just this past week, but for quite a while. This is an ongoing feud that has been actually going on for years, and it's it's finally hit ahead with author T. DeMula being removed from the board of directors for Market Basket and then being removed as the manager of all the market baskets, in addition to some of the managers that were running the market baskets under him. Commence. We are smoking in the girls' room, and we're going to go around the the round table, and everybody will introduce themselves. We'll start to my left, Val. I'm Val Malta. I'm Mike Cannon. I'm not a girl. (laughs) Just do the girly voice, and you'll be good. (laughs) I hosted the show earlier, uh, The Young Jerks. On WEMF Radio. And I'm Anna Maria Soriano, and I love you, Market Basket. (laughs) I'm Gabrielle Agachico, and I love you too, Market Basket. And I'm Carmelita, and we're going to, we actually have the phone lines lighting up. We're going to take a caller right now who's been waiting on the phone lines. Um, Caller, are you there? Hi. Hello. Hi. Um... I work at Store 50 in Rochester, New Hampshire. I am a cashier. I have been there 13 years, and I love my job. And are you? Were you out this week with the workers? Um, I was at the rally yesterday. Yes. Okay, and tell us about that. And tell us what what's going on. Um. Well, pretty much the. The uh, warehouse workers are not working at the moment um, because they decided that they're not going to because we want to shut the stores down. Basically, we want to hurt their wallets, and we're trying to shut the stores down. So is that the official word on the street now, is to boycott Market Basket? No. um, We we want the customers to come in and shop. We want to take everything off the shelves. Okay. But as of right now, the stores are not accepting product. Ah. Uh, right. Well, I I live in Tewksbury, so I drove past the headquarters today, where they have all the trucks come in. They actually have the actual um, the offices are all there, and it's all yeah. police. The police have blocked off both the roads leading in. There's no activity of any employees that I could see. No trucks coming in and out. There's always trucks coming in and out of there. Um, and from what yep. I've been told by a friend of mine who has worked at Market Basket for almost thirty years. Um, if the trucks don't start moving and the selectors, they call them, they get orders for each store and they create pallets and then those pallets go out to each store for their deliveries. If that doesn't start today, by tomorrow and certainly by Monday, a lot of the shelves are simply going to be empty, especially if anything fresh, meats, dairy, yep. anything like that, fruits and vegetables, already all, almost all gone. So yep. it, it's going to get worse. Yeah. Um, as of right now, that's what we want. Because we want to hurt their wallets. We want to get their attention. Um, This is Gabrielle, and I just want to say that I totally support that idea. I'm learning as I get older that the only way to fight things in this country is with your wallet and with your pocketbook. You can petition, you can plead, you can talk, but the only thing that American companies and the government seem to understand is the dollar sign. So... As much as I love the basket, if it will help save the basket, I will boycott. Yeah. Yeah. Money talks. Yeah. Yeah. Follow the money for sure. Yeah. And I'm not shopping there until they act responsibly and answer the the 
uh, employees. I mean, that that uh, whole thing they did in the Boston Globe, that letter is ridiculous. That was an they blamed insult. it on the employees. Yeah, they did. Yeah. It's like, dude, you, you're wrong, and you need to work with the employees. This is the message that you need to take on Market Basket CEOs. Anna Maria? You know, I live in Somerville. I'm at Market Basket every single week, and I was in the store just uh, Friday, in fact, yesterday, and you could feel the tension. This, there were still a, a lot of products on the shelves, but I saw the managers, and I heard them talking about the rally, and, well, we'll see who's going to be going. And I got some pictures, which I've just posted, of the Market Basket Chelsea store that my dear friend had gone to, empty shelves. Right. So you're making yep. a difference, caller. We're with you. Yeah, we're with we are. You. Yeah, and I wanted to ask you, uh, are more people going to be, are you guys going to be protesting more outside the stores? Or are you? What is your game plan right now that at, at least is public, is open to the that- public? As far as that goes, I have no idea. Um, I only know what I'm told. Um, I do know us as workers, we're going to continue to go to work until we just can't, until there's nothing to do. Um, Would it help, do you think, your situation if the consumer... You know, if those of us who love the market, you know, just kind of went out and uh, participated in a demonstration against what they're doing corporate-wise, do you think that that would be a helpful thing? Would it be detrimental? I'm really not sure what to do here at this juncture. Yeah, we need instruction. Yeah, I know. (laughs) So, you know what? I know that you're... This is... this. This has got to be fairly traumatic for all of you, you guys that are employees of Market Basket, but you are standing strong and you are standing united. When you find out, you let us know. We are on Facebook. We are smoking in the girls' room on WEMF, doc, uh, WEMF Radio. We're right on yep. Facebook. And, and post there and keep us posted. Let us know what yeah. we should do and we are behind you yes we are and i want to thank you for calling us i think we've got another day did you say we have another caller on the line thank you so much for checking in today hi uh, hi who's this calling this is cindy whalen and you are you calling from one of the market baskets are you an employee i am the store director in epping wow oh wow and mm-hmm. and tell us weigh in with us here well, I haven't heard any of the radio show because I've been trying to get through and I've been fielding phone calls. But um, all I honestly can really say is that um, everybody at store level is 100% behind the main office and what they're doing. And um, my customers, I have the one of the best customer bases out there, are very loyal and very supportive and ready to boycott this company. I can't believe I'm about to say that on live radio. Wow. Um, because this is a company that I have worked so hard to grow, but um, I'm actually, at this point, welcoming a boycott should it get to that. Wow. What do you think the response of the board, they're, they're due on Monday to come back and make a public announcement to all of the employees of market basket what is everybody does anybody is everybody anticipating what that may be we are anticipating what it may be um we also are not confident in this board of directors of making the right decision um i have multiple emails between uh a board of directors and myself and uh where I could prove it if I had to, but I'm not going to make him public, um, where he has lied to me over and over again, over and over and over again. This so is author is, Well, this is his... His henchman on the board. Right. He, well, yeah, the, the independent, they're suppo- they're, they are supposed to be independent board members making the right decisions for the company, um, but clearly for, from their actions and their decisions and their votes, they are not independent. They are weighing on one side of the shareholders right. and not considering the stakeholders at all. Do you think that they're feeling the heat, though, today at all? Or do you feel like there 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 was any possibility that they're going to realize that they have a real opportunity to do, to do the right thing on this? With thank God for the media like yourself and just being on radio. Yeah, I, maybe now they're realizing the magnitude. 
because Market Basket is a great company that puts everybody first, the customers first, the associates second, um, and we are treated very well, and that's why we treat our customers well. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's really a common sense chain of reaction. You treat your employees well, they treat your customers well, and everything else just falls into place. Um, so this board of directors, um, where we know where their loyalties lie, but I also hope that with all the media coverage out there, that they are seriously considering what this is going to do to their reputation. Now, do you know if there's been any repercussions since the uh, the rally on Friday? Has anybody been fired as a result of this? No. Any of the managers that have stepped up? Nobody has officially been fired, no. Okay, no. Well, that's good to know. And can I ask you this? This is Anna Maria. Is yep. it my imagination or have the prices been creeping up slowly? Because I seem to be spending more every week. Is it that, that just my imagination or is it actually happening? At this point, yes, it is your imagination. There's, okay. um, there is, um, because it hasn't really trickled down to cost yet. There are normal price increases that go on with, you know, gas prices go up or a shortage in rice and companies are paying more for rice to, you know, uh, create their product. So there's the normal fluctuation, normal price increases that come across the board. Um, but as of right now, um, our buyers that are in, were in the main office and that were at the rally on Friday and they're no longer, um, <clears throat> uh, how do I put this, working for anybody else but other than ATD. It has not trickled down to the actual consumer yet, so any price increases at this point are just normal fluctuations in the market due to unforeseen you know, crop issues, gas prices, whatever it may be. Do you expect the 4% back on all of your purchases to be continued? Because that was a program that I don't think is unprecedented yeah. with any supermarket across the country. Yeah. Um, the worst thing I think that this new management and um, board of directors could do would be to take that away. Because Especially they're now. To create, they're trying to create the image that nothing is going to change, even though we know, we know for a fact that behind the scenes things are changing. But they want the public perception to be that nothing is changing. So they are going to honor... The 4%. Okay. And, and again, we had asked the last caller. We've got another caller on hold right now, but I do want to ask you, uh, I know that you, you guys have been posting, all the Market Basket employees have been posting, you have a website, Save Market Basket, on Facebook, which is fabulous, yep. by the way. And you've been posting updates, but uh, is there any word at this point as to what we can do in the immediate? Should we be boycotting? Should we be protesting? Is, there, uh, is everything on hold until Monday? Right now, what I can tell you is that we are accepting volunteers to protest at the store to support uh, the reinstatement of our CEO. Um, in my opinion, and I have um, a pretty good, uh, strong um, connection with everything that's going on. I'm very well educated with all the, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, common knowledge, um, the next step would be to ask for a boy- boycott of the company. Okay, but and that, I, not yet. Not at this not point. Yet, not, empty not, Shop, yet, empty, empty ha- not yet. Not Shop. Empty the shelves. <laughs> so, wait. So, I, I have a lot of customers that are saying they are. I am. And I, just, <laughs> I am. And, and to be honest with you, I am thanking them. I know. I, I can't, know. honestly, I, I can't bring myself to go in there knowing I this. I and, you right. know, the shameful thing is because they have actually organic produce and dairy and stuff that's actually affordable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure they you do. know, Absolutely. I mean, it's unbelievable. The best unbelievable. place to go, I think, especially right now. They've gotten so much better. Oh, they're the best. Cindy, thank you so much Cindy, for calling Cindy, thank you. Cindy, you're, you're very brave. You're, 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 you're very brave. Thank amazing. you. Amazing. Thank Keep you. it up. Stay in touch with us yeah. and on Smoking in the Girls Room on WEMF Radio. That's our website on Facebook. And keep us posted, and we'll check in on yours. Thanks. And next caller, hello. Hello, caller. Okay. 
No, oh, I think we lost that caller. Did we lose that caller? We no, the six one seven five hundred seventy one hundred. I, I Boy, I'm competing with a guy. This I is know. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Mike can't remember. You're a guest this on that show. This is smoking across the room and in the girls' room. This is the oh girls' room and we're smoking. I knew this was going to happen. I knew I was going to kick off. I was like, I'm never going to make it through this We've got show. another caller on the phone lines here on Smoking in the Girls' Room on WEMF Radio. Caller, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi. And uh, who is this? Where are you calling from today? Uh, my name is Chuck Sopracus. I'm calling from uh, Windham, New Hampshire. Chuck, I'm, welcome. I'm a Nebraska employee. And uh, tell us, what what are you doing out there right now? Uh, I'm, a, I'm the kitchen manager in, uh, in Manchester, New How Hampshire. long have you been at Market Basket? Yes. How long have you worked at Market Basket? Oh, five years. Okay. And um, what's going on at, at the store? Well, we, we have a lot of customers coming up uh Pretty much scared, wondering what they can do to help us out. And we do have a lot of support from uh, all the customers and stuff. Uh, right now, uh, we're slowly running out of things. Uh, we feel bad, but we, we need to do what we have to do to uh, get our CEO back. And uh, so have the delivery, all the drivers have stopped delivering. And I had seen on the Save Market Basket website this morning that they hired what, 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 people would refer to as scab drivers, drivers that are not market basket drivers. They are hired by this new board to bring food in, and there were some uh, safety issues that, that occurred around that. Are, are, have all the trucks stopped delivering at this point? As far as I know, we haven't seen any. Uh, we didn't get a truck uh, in Manchester, but we heard that uh, there was a lot of sent out to uh, – Felicia, uh, basically telling her to cease uh, using power equipment and stuff, that it is a violation of OSHA. They're not certified. There's nobody there to certify them, and somebody's going to get hurt, and that's going to be a problem after that. Yeah. Absolutely. Like I said, when I, when I drove by, on my way down here, I drove by the plant, and the police are blocking both roads. There's no activity of trucks, and believe me, there's trucks up and down that road all the time, and there's nothing going on at the, at the plant. So are you guys, car- oh, Anna Maria will be in in a minute. Are you guys currently in the stores working? We just, uh, we just left. I just left my store about maybe a half hour ago. Uh, we're pretty much uh, cutting, you know, we don't have that much food. Uh, the chickens that we usually cook, uh, we're probably going to be out by tonight. Uh, and there's no delivery coming in tomorrow that we know of. Oh, so boy. this usual Saturday so, crush, which you go into a market basket any place in, in New England in on Saturday, expect. it's madness, right? So I, I, did you get the same amount of customers today? Uh, no, today it seemed a little slower than uh, there was yesterday, but uh, mostly uh, people were just coming in, kind of wandering around, asking questions and stuff like that. They're not, uh, it wasn't a typical Saturday. Ah, and Anna Maria? On the way in here, I drove by the Somerville uh, Market Basket, and I have to say, it was still packed. It's still hard to get in there. Now, I'll be back there tomorrow morning, so I'll be posting and letting you know what's happening in Somerville. Well, are the store... It was packed. Wow. Wow. The shelves are going to be empty tomorrow, Anna Maria. That's what I'm expecting. So pictures on the website. Is this a part of the game plan? Um, Somebody uh, who called a little earlier had mentioned that they just want to clear the shelves off and then that's it. So is this a part of the game plan? People are going in, they're grabbing the stuff off the shelves, and then that's it. Then everything's on hold? Yes. Okay. Pretty pretty much. Uh, I mean, we, we 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 don't anticipate any deliveries if they are. They're delivering very little. Uh, they were trying to get some of the dairy managers to actually go down to the warehouse this morning to pick up the uh, sun load and bring it down, but uh, they weren't too successful on that. And this is actually in violation because your drivers are um, insured. They are actual employees of the store, and there are safety measures in place. Uh, as I understand it, somebody had called OSHA as well, and the drivers and the trucks were from, this is what I read, yeah. were in violation of regulation, safety regulations. Well, we're seeing pictures and hearing reports online on that Facebook page, and also uh, maybe the state police are going to be looking into this. I heard, I've heard i heard rumors that they, they're, the local police are looking for the market basket trailers to see if these guys are uh, you know, following the law. They need RDT well, back. Plus- he knows the rules and regulations. 